Well, there appears to be a growing rift within the Israeli government and military. Now, the country's top military spokesperson says Hamas cannot be eliminated, and whoever thinks it can is wrong. His remarks prompted a quick response from Prime Minister Netanyahu's office, uh, who says the war with Hamas will not end until it's defeated. The military chimed in on social media to clarify what was said, claiming Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari meant the idea of Hamas as an ideology could not be stopped. Let's bring in John Donison with our partners at the BBC. He's there for us in Jerusalem. So, John, we know that disagreements between the military, even within uh, the coalition government that Netanyahu has, is not uncommon. But these seem particularly significant, given that they came from Israel's top army spokesperson. What more can you tell us? Yeah, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari is the chief uh, spokesperson for the IDF, and he has been throughout uh, this eight-month-long war. And those comments that uh, anyone who thought that Hamas could be eliminated was simply throwing sand in the eyes of the general public and that Hamas was an ideology in the hearts of the people and could not be destroyed were pretty strong. And as you say, uh, we pretty quickly got a statement from Prime Minister Netanyahu's office saying that the war aims remain to destroy Hamas's governing and military capabilities and that the IDF was uh, fully committed to those goals. But it's not a great look and it's actually the second time where uh, we've heard Daniel Hagari say things that seem to be in something of a disconnect uh, with the politicians here. Earlier he said, uh, last, last week said that um, a hostage deal remained the best way to get a large number of Israeli hostages out of Gaza and that is something uh, that has not been realized uh, by the Israeli government who are continuing to apply military pressure on Hamas, which is what they see as the best way to get uh, those remaining hostages home. And adding to the sensitivity of the moment, John, along um, the north, we understand that the uh, military approved a potential offensive with Lebanon. In the meantime, Hezbollah's leaders warning Israel against an all-out war against that Iran-backed group. What does this mean as far as Hezbollah's, you know, weapons capabilities and just all of these increasing tensions. Well, look, uh, what's happening on Israel's northern border with Lebanon has been somewhat overshadowed by the war in Gaza over the past eight months. But the truth is that over those eight months, we've seen probably the most serious cross-border violence between Israel and Hezbollah since the all-out war back in 2006. And there's not only uh, fighting on the ground, there's also a war of words. So we had a televised address yesterday from the Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, and he said if Israel started an all-out war, then no part of Israel would be safe from Hezbollah's rockets. And also for the first time, he threatened Cyprus, saying that if uh, Cyprus was used, uh, the air bases there were used to launch uh, Israeli strikes uh, against Hezbollah, then Cyprus uh, could be targeted. He did say, though, that Hezbollah was not looking for all-out war with Israel, but, you know, there is always a danger that uh, these cross-border strikes could escalate and flare, into some, flare up into something much worse. Uh, a lot happening over there. John Donison, really appreciate you bringing us up to speed.